Uh, hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is an Ngrams ACL workshop. And this one, I'm going to show you how to show the different words that appear in a data set, whether it's one word, two word combinations, three words. And this is a really important technique, uh, especially if you're doing any anti fraud, anti bribery, and corruption exercises here. And this is an example of Google's books Ngram Viewer, which basically sees the frequency of words that appear. Uh, in the data, uh, in, the, in this case, in the books. So here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first open up this table, and this is the Toronto P card uh, data set. And then here, I'm going to go delete field space count. I'm going to figure out how many spaces are are there in the field purpose, which is the description. So I'm going to go occurs all trim purpose, which is the description. And I'm going to count the number of spaces here. And I'm going to sort on space count D, which means bringing the highest sort, temp, open. And I'm going to go delete, uh, I'm going to go locate record one. And then I'm going to go Vmax is equal to uh, space count, which essentially means that I'm going to have, give me, give me the, the maximum number of spaces that exist uh, within purpose and then I'm gonna go V counter which will be my counter is equal to one and I'm gonna go do word one while V counter is less than or equal to space count and then I'm gonna go to word word one which is a script I've already set up open I'm gonna open this table and I'm going to go delete field uh, word. OK, defined field word computed. And I'm essentially going to say uh, use split function. And I go all trim word, or not word, purpose. And I'm going to say split it on space and give me v counter. So first time it's going to run through, it's going to give me the first word. And I'm going to put the end v counter is equal to v counter plus one. And then at the top of the script, I'm going to go v append is equal to append if v counter does not equal one. And v append equals to space if v counter is equal to one. And then I'm going to extract fields word. And actually, I'm going to do some normalization on this all word and the reason why is that I'm gonna pen these words on top of each other space as word so I'm gonna make it maximum 50 and then I'm gonna go go purpose to uh, in this case uh, I'm gonna go temp word open uh, I don't need to open it via pen so basically if it's not if it is the first record make via pen blank if it's not the first record append it if and then I'm going to use this function called occurs all word space equals zero. So basically, give me all the ones with uh, zero spaces. Actually, I should do is blank word equals false. So give me all the non blank ones. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to open tempt word and I'm going to summarize on word. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to uppercase it, word, uh, as word, uh, other purpose, so I can get a sense of what, what kind of descriptions are being used, to word one sum, pre-sort open. And this will run about 20 times, give or take, across this large data set. So you can imagine, run 20 times, and there's 160,000 records, you can see the it's definitely going to be in the millions, uh, or, or yeah, it's going to run totally in the in the in the actually oh, well, only four hundred uh, thousand. So that's surprising. And then here you'll see the word for is used a lot. Supplies, title, searches, the word dash. Obviously, there's a bunch of symbols here, and you can modify your code to get rid of those as well. Uh, you can see all these different combinations that that exist. 
And I'm just, to do two words, uh, I'm essentially going to copy and paste, do the same thing. The only difference here is I'm going to make, obviously refer this to word two. And in your, this code, you'll see it's very similar. This, these lines are code. Obviously the where I'm going to put is different. And the only thing different here is that I've all trimmed this portion and then I've added a space here and then added basically the same thing here, except for plus the second word. So imagine I'm going to go through the first time I'm going to, uh, look for the first word plus the next word beside it. And then here, pretty much the same thing, except for I'm only going to append it if the number of spaces is one, which is basically going to count this space. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, what we're going to do next, actually, before I go and do this, I'm going to all trim everything just in case. Uh, so let's run this second portion which is going to be word two. And then obviously you can just copy and paste this and do it for word three. It's actually even easier for three word combinations. Okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Looks like there's a slight error. I'm sure we can fix this pretty. Oh, okay. Um, I always um, run the code in the wrong area. Space count is undefined. Oh, okay. Okay, there's some slight differences I have to take into consideration. Okay, just need some slight errors. Okay, looks like there's some slight errors, but it's still like worth i'm going to investigate that but you'll see here uh the three the two word combinations that exist and the most popular ones the most common ones and let's i'm going to quickly show you how it looks for three so i'm basically going to copy this i'm going to go with this three uh script i'm going to close this two one and i'm essentially going to make it two spaces and i'm essentially just going to add this uh minus the have to be careful on the number of brackets here and the only difference is I'm going to add two here add two here temp word and then as well I'm going to change this to word three and I'm going to change this to word uh, summarize three so it summarizes properly uh, oh, actually probably shouldn't I probably should copy the, this code here this is why it's good to comment, so you're not confused while you while you're coding. So three here, and I'm gonna add three here. So we're gonna let that run. I might run to that space count error again. Okay, it did. But it looks like it still ran through successfully. So you can see L O L R O property search is the most common one. Uh, within within the data, you can see that's actually the full data description. So, so food supplies four, and this gives you an idea of of the the different words and different combination words. And obviously, you can adjust it, get rid of some of these symbols or uh, these different limitations that that exist uh, within the data. Uh, but this is obviously um, a good start to uh, enhancing your keyword searches. And even I find that even just looking at this one is super valuable. I'm sure if we we're going to scroll down and you're going to see different like it's actually sometimes pretty funny, like different spelling variations, people misspelling things or adding different uh, symbols or uh, sometimes it's hard to see. But you can see uh, different combinations that people use. So you can see Christmas is very popular um, for these one word. Searches. Actually, I think this is the repeating. Hmm. Let's, see, let's run this whole thing again. I think this. Um, I copied. I forgot to change the word too. So it's show, actually showing the word 
Uh, we're two ones for ones. I just want to quickly show what the word one would look like. So it's going to take a minute to run. So you're going to see here, if I sort this one by spelling, you're going to see like different combinations, like people put commas here, commas there, uh, different spelling variations that actually exist uh, within the data, uh, like IBID, HSST, like different combinations. Obviously, you can clean this up, but I always find it really interesting because uh, oftentimes you'll see like, random misspellings or uh yeah different just basically different combinations so here for example they spelled playground wrong um for for this one so i just find it's useful because then if you're looking for certain keywords you may never know how someone actually might spell it and this will only enhance and uh develop the intelligence of your keyword searches so hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave it in the sections below. And I look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you.